Dear students, in organic photochemistry, there is another one important topic that is cis-trans isomerization. Okay, first of all, uh, we want to know what is cis-trans isomerization. Before that, we heard about a cis transform. Okay, cis form will be similar group lie on the same side, trans will be similar group lie on the opposite side. Uh, that is there is no change, okay. That is same. But it is in a photo chemical reaction how will we proceed cis trans isomerization so we are looking okay we are looking forward to that one. so here we are considered as a still bin as an example okay we had about still bin in our previous classes okay so anyway still bin can be irradiated in solution when it undergo cis trans isomerization okay so normal in cis trans isomers still bin is a very good example okay so they are considered as still bin as an example so still bin can be irradiated in solution when it undergo cis trans isomerization okay we are considered as a still bin okay still bin can be irradiated that is a very good word okay in photochemistry the irradiation will be uh, very very important okay so uh, uh, so I will explain one by one okay why we are just important one or not okay so still bin can be irradiated in solution when it undergo cis trans isomerization okay right <coughs> the same reaction can be carried out in presence of sensitization that is another important thing okay the same reaction can be carried out in a presence of sensitizer that is the photochemistry okay so first one we are saying it is irradiated to form cis trans second we are saying the same reaction can be carried out in presence of a sensitizer we are using on sensitizer they are forming the same reaction okay then the point is direct irradiation of solutions of either cis or trans still being yield a constant mixer consisting of 93 percentage of cis still being and 7 percentage trans still being that is another thing okay direct irradiation of solution it is a direct irradiation means here here we are not using the light okay that is a this is not a photochemical reaction okay so direct irradiation of solution direct okay directly we are uh, doing the reaction we are not taking any photosensitizer okay we are uh, the, we are providing the reaction in the direct manner as a direct irradiation of solution of either cis or trans still being yield a constant mixer of okay to produce a constant mixture of 93 percentage of still cis st still being and 7 percentage of trans still being okay in direct irradiation in direct irradiation method it will provide so already we are mentioned the same reaction that means the product will be same okay that is a 93 percent st cis still being and the sound business trans still being also we can form in the photo chemical reaction that's the using photosensitizer okay right so first we are looking for the direct irradiation okay right this is the reaction okay you can able to see the reaction okay this is nothing but this is a still bean okay it is a uh, direct radiation method so without any photo of sensitizer we are using direct sunlight it will be provided the reaction okay so it is a sorry it is a, a common example it is not a direct radiation it's a common example we can get two things one is a cis one another one is a trans one cis one will be 93 percentage trans one will be 7 percentage we know that cis will be formed as a similar group lie on the same side trans will be formed as a similar group lie on the opposite side okay so i don't worry okay right so we go for the two methods the first method is direct irradiation okay okay in direct irradiation initial absorption of light either of these isomers is rapidly followed by inter-system crossing to the respective triplet state okay in the direct method initial absorption of light either of these isomers in two isomers you know that cis and trans isomer any one of the isomer absorb light directly it is not using any sensitizer okay without sensitizer any one of the isomer either cis or trans is directly absorb the light and uh, rapidly followed by inter-system crossing ISC means for inter-system crossing okay so we are using this uh, term in a Japan's diagram okay inter-system crossing so after inter-system crossing we know that it is go for the triplet stage 
okay at the end of system crossing to the respective triplet state okay then photoisomerization then occurs via interconversion or via a common triplet intermediate okay one photo isomerization will be occurs via interconversion either or in a common triplet intermediate so any one of the method there is a photo isomerization cis and trans will be found okay so it's very important thing direct radius means nothing but it is absorbs light either one of these isomer directly without use of the sensitizer okay we can get a uh, cis or trans form okay right this is an example for the direct radiation okay this is an example of direct radiation sorry okay this is an example of direct radiation this is still cis stilpin and trans stilpin is there cis as well as trans stilpin is there okay if you are providing light in a direct manner that is hu it is direct radiation of light either any one of them either cis or trans either one of the uh, isomer will absorb the light go for first for the single textured state so this is that's why it is put for a single that's why it is put for a num one okay you can able to see the one it is a singlet excited state okay you put for the one that is singlet excited cis stilpin is separately formed as a single excited as well as the trans okay right then it is go for the inter system crossing so i am not mentioning the note you can write okay then this is the four types of system after inter system crossing we will get a two forms one is a cis stilpin okay one is a cis stilpin another one is a trans stilpin but both are in a isomerization okay cis will be converted to trans trans will be converted to cis okay that's point of use there there there's an equilibrium may be formed cis and trans it is in a triplet state that is very important state okay this is the inter-system crossing process okay so which is equivalent to this one okay that's why i write it here which is equal to so three bar is there that is called as a equivalent okay this is any one of them we are taking as any one of the form okay whether it is a cis or trans we are not mentioning it is commonly still be okay it is a triplet state either cis or trans undergo uh, photo isomerization to form a cis still being as well as trans still being okay separately cis as well as trans is here you can able to see cis will be 93 percentage trans will be only 7 percentage okay this is the first method is a direct irradiation without any photo sensitizer okay that is very important okay Okay, so as we go for the next level, that is using or irradiation using photosensitizer. Okay, that is very important using photosensitizer. Okay, so it is not uh, used for direct irradiation of any one of the isomer. We are using photosensitizer separately for the irradiation. Okay, right. So, listen, is a photo isomerization can also be carried out in presence of sensitizer okay this is the photo isomerization process already i mentioned okay it is also carried out by using photo sensitizer okay here we are using benzophenone as a photo sensitizer okay we are already studied for this about benzophenone uses in the photo sensitization uh, steps okay already in the uh, japan's diagram uh, after that japan's diagram we are study that photo sensitization process okay that is we are using uh, benzophenone at the place okay here also we are using benzophenone as a photosensitized process okay right this is uh, using the following steps okay so step one we are looking for the step one by one in the first step this is benzophenone it is absorbed light okay it's not any one of the common directly absorbed light it is benzophenone absorbed light go for the singlet excited state okay that is a singlet excited state then it is go for inter-system crossing okay it is go for the triplet state okay you can able to see it is a triplet excited state okay so now benzophenone in the triplet excited state okay so uh, photosensitizer it is acting as a photosensitizer so it will be transfer energy to the uh, another cis or trans stilpin okay this uh, that is the second step in the second step the cis or trans stilpin okay we are in the mixed up form it is with mixed with the triplet Benzophenone. Benzophenone already in the stable state. It will be exchange energy. 
okay the solid state is extends to this one okay and it is it is go for the ground state it is go for the ground state okay that's why we are getting tripleted still be in either cis or trans we never know okay and also the benzophenone go for the ground state okay so listen carefully there is this exchange of energy okay benzophenone in the tripleted state the exchange energy to cis or trans still be the cis or trans will be go for the tripleted state okay that is a tripleted state but in the benzophenone go for the or uh, back to the ground state okay right then now the role of benzophenone is over okay once it transfer the energy this uh, role is over okay this is will be over then now still be is in the tripled state okay still be is in the tripled state it is undergo photoisomerization okay it is undergo photoisomerization either it can form cis still be okay or trans will be already we know that cis will be in a similar group or similar side trans will be similar group or in a opposite side again the percentage will be same there is no change in the reaction same reaction but in the second step we are using one photo sensor that is the only difference in the uh, steps okay anyway cis trans isomerization is a very simple one but it is exam find up is, is a very important also okay students i hope you are understood okay okay in this video i can send the material also okay you can uh, watch the video and uh, read the notes okay okay right thank you